In this session, we are going to learn to find residue of functions given in Lorentz series form or the functions whose Lorentz series expansion we can do easily and there can be infinite terms in the Lorentz series form or finite terms and here we will consider the general case of infinite terms in the Lorentz series but similar procedure will be applicable if there are only finite terms this function we can write in slightly different form where we take these negative power terms in the denominator and that gives us poles of different orders so in this series we have terms with non-negative powers and each of these terms is analytic so the residue contribution of each of these terms will be zero because they are analytic the negative power terms give us poles of different order this is first order pole this is second order pole this is third order pole and we can find their residues and if we do that then residues of all poles except the first order pole term is zero and the residue for that is just the coefficient of term and that is residue of function f z at z equals to zero will be equals to a minus one if you want to see the proof let's find the residues of all the negative power terms or all the terms with poles so for term with pole of order one or simple pole will be residue of a minus one upon z that will be equals to limit z going to zero z a minus one upon z that is equals to here this z will cancel this z and if we take limit we are left with only a minus one for terms with poles of order n greater than equals to two the residue of a minus n upon z to the power n that is nth order pole will be limit z approaching 0 1 upon n minus 1 factorial d n minus 1 dz n minus 1 z to the power n a minus n upon z to the power n here z to the power n will cancel z to the power n and because n is greater than or equals to 2 we will have derivatives of order 1 or higher and because a n is constant so the derivative will be 0 so here we will be left with 0 so residue of terms with poles of order greater than or equals to 2 will always be 0 so the residue of entire function will be just coefficient of the term with simple pole that is a minus 1 let's do some examples here we want to find contour integral of fz evaluated around the unit circle on the complex plane and fz is cos z upon z here we can write this function in Lorentz series form so that will be if i do series expansion of cos z i'll get 1 minus z square upon 2 factorial plus z to the power 4 upon 4 factorial minus dot 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 that is equals to 1 upon z minus z upon 2 factorial plus z cube upon 4 factorial minus dot 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 so here we have a Lorentz series which is finite on negative power terms side but infinite on positive power term side and the residue of the function cos z upon z will be coefficient of term with simple pole that is just 1 so the contour integral fz dz will be 2 pi iota residue of f at z equals to 0 and the residue is 1 so we'll have just 2 pi iota so our answer a is correct here we are given our function in slightly roundabout way for the contour integration so 
we want to find the contour integral of 1 plus fz upon z and fz is given as c0 c1 z to the power minus 1 so if i simplify the expression whose contour integral i want to find that will be 1 plus c0 plus c1 z minus 1 upon z that is equals to 1 plus c0 divided by z plus c1 divided by z squared here the function has finite number of terms and the residue of this function will be coefficient of term with simple pole that is 1 plus c0 so the contour integral on unit circle 1 plus f z upon z dz will be 2 pi iota residue of this whole thing that is 1 plus f z upon z at z equals to 0 that will be equals to 2 pi iota and residue is 1 plus c0 so our answer d will be correct they have used j in place of iota so that's okay in this question we want to find contour integral of sin z upon z where the contour of integration is simple closed curve around the origin so again we can write Lorentz series expansion for our function so that is sin z upon z that will be equals to 1 upon z and the expansion of sin z is z minus z cube upon 3 factorial plus z to the power 5 upon 5 factorial minus dot 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 that is equals to 1 minus z squared upon 3 factorial plus z to the power 4 upon 5 factorial minus dot 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 here note that we only have non-negative power terms and the coefficient of term with simple pole is 0 so the residue of the function will be 0 or we can say that sin z upon z is an analytic function because the Lorentz series does not have negative power terms so the contour integral sin z upon z dz will be equals to 0 so our answer a is correct here we want to find contour integral of function e to the power 1 upon z over c with c as the counterclockwise unit circle in z plane so here we can find Lorentz series expansion of our function that will be e to the power 1 upon z equals to 1 plus 1 upon 1 factorial 1 upon z plus 1 upon 2 factorial 1 upon z squared plus 1 upon 3 factorial 1 upon z cube plus dot 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 here the coefficient of term with simple pole is just 1 upon 1 factorial that is 1 so the residue of function will be 1 so the contour integral over c e to the power 1 upon z dz will be 2 pi iota residue of e to the power 1 upon z at z equals to 0 that is equals to 2 pi iota just 1 and we know iota is square root minus 1 so our answer c is correct next we want to find the contour integral of 1 upon z square dz where the contour is unit circle traversed clockwise so here the function is just 1 upon z square that is finite number of terms and there is no term with simple pole so the residue of this function will be 0 so the contour integral of this function will also be 0 